Right, so today I'm going to be showing you a very, very cool card trick that you can do using any deck of cards anywhere that you're at. So especially great for the holidays, you're going to be out and about. Never know whose house you're going to be at, but uh, you know, let's just say, for example, you go over to your aunt's house, your grandma's house, and they have a deck of cards and you want to impress, you know, all your family and friends and whatnot. This is going to be a really easy trick for you to do and you can pick it up in two seconds. So to show you what it looks like is basically you can have the spectators go ahead and they can shuffle up the deck, um, you know, however they like. Right? Like I said, it's impromptu. They shuffle up the deck, and what you do is you go ahead and you mix up the cards on the table. So, for example, you do this. You mix up the cards, and you're just kind of washing them around like so. And let's say we have the cards, you know, all in disarray here. And what you do is you tell your spectators, okay, so what I'm going to do is try and figure out, let's see, I'm going to try to figure out three cards, all right, just from their backs here can't see any of their face value, but what I'm going to tell you right now is that I do believe 100% that this card right here is going to be the queen of clubs, right? So what you do is you set that off to the side. All right, so I need you guys to remember this, right? We have the queen of clubs, and let's say this one is the six of clubs. So before I tell you when to pick this up, this is going to be the six of clubs. And what you do is you set that off to the side, and for the last and final card, Let's do the Jack of Spades. So what you do is you take the last and final card, Jack of Spades here. You have the three cards that you selected and you tell your spectator, okay. So I hopefully you remembered all the cards, but I believe we had the Queen of Clubs, the Six of Clubs, and the Jack of Spades. And you flip the cards over. You have the Queen of Clubs, you have the Six of Clubs, and you have the Jack of Spades. So this is the trick, and if you guys want to learn how to do it, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's how you can do the trick. So in person, it's going to look a lot better because I only have really so much room to work with and spreading the cards sometimes without having the cards because this is on a table, so they could fall off the edges, and that's really annoying. So it's kind of hard to do, but on a bigger table when you're just standing around a group, um, you know, this trick is going to work really, really great. It's, it's good also um, if you have more than one spectator and you're worried about, you know, maybe sleight of hand, like people might be looking at your angles or something. This is really, you know, super easy. You don't have to worry about it. So the way it works is you can go ahead and have the spectator shuffle the deck up. And all you have to do is once they're done shuffling the pack, you can start talking. You take the deck back in your hands and you just catch a glimpse of the bottom card. Um, in this case, it's going to be the five of spades. So at this point, you already know that the first card, the bottom card is the five of spades. So from this point, once the deck's been shuffled, you take the cards and you give them a nice little wash, but obviously you do not want to forget where that five of spades is because then you're pretty much screwed. So you have all the cards here, um, you know, in a big wash, and it looks to your spectators like it's completely random. So from here, what you have to do is you already know the bottom card, I believe you said was the five of spades. You're going to touch any card, it doesn't matter, but you don't want to pick up the five of spades. You just want to know where it's at, right? So at this point, um, what you got to do is look for any random card and just touch the back of it. So, and you tell the spectators before you touch it that it's the five of spades. So you say, you know what, I think, I think that this card right here is the five of spades. So you pull it out and all you do, and it's, it's great if you're standing up because you can have, it, you can make it look like the, the card is kind of facing more down. Um, it, you can kind of make it look like it's almost like an illusion, um, but you can have the card. So you don't want to, yeah, I think this card right here is the five of spades. And let me go and put it over here in a separate pile. And all you're doing is while you're picking up the card, you're taking a quick glance at it. So, okay, so now we know the next card is the king of spades. So, okay, put that card down and then you say, all right, you know what? The next card that I pick is going to be the king, the king of spades. I think this is the king of spades right here. We'll go and put that in that pile. And all you do is take a quick glance at it. Okay, so it's not the king of spades. Obviously, it's the nine of spades. Say, all right, put that off to the side here that you are you know, stacking up the cards with. And you say the last card is, I think this one is going to be, I think this is going to be the nine of spades over here. And you don't even have to look at it because you already know which one it is. It's the bottom card. You put that back in the third pile. And from here, the trick is done. All the three cards that you set are now chosen. However, if you flip them over, it's almost like, um, you know, you did it in reverse. So, because, you know, the first card you picked, you picked up, so I think this card is going to be, you know, the, uh, the five of spades. But in reality, look, the first card is the king of spades. So the order looks a little bit, you know, a little bit wonky. So what you can do is, all right, so just go ahead. And as you're talking to the spectators, you can just shuffle the cards and say, listen, you know, I picked all these cards randomly face down. And if I remember correctly, it was the nine of spades, the king of spades, and the 
five of spades. So at this point, you know, make sure your, your audience can actually remember the cards. But from here, it looks now like it's shuffled up. So the order doesn't matter. At that point, that is the end of the trick. Um, I hope you guys like it. And um, hopefully I'll have a couple more videos out before Christmas. Um, things are getting a little bit busy. But anyways, not an excuse. I uh, hope you guys like the trick. And as always, thanks for watching.